What's up everybody, it's the RCL Man here. Welcome to another quick Rec Room tutorial video with the new update 2.49. They added in a text tool that you can now use in your room. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use that and how to mess with all the settings on it, okay? So first of all, what you wanna do is take out your maker pen and go to create if it's not already highlighted, open palette, gonna go to gadgets and other gadgets and then it is on the last page here it says text simple enough and then create it now the text tool is not grabbable so you have to move it using these settings here this is the only way you can move it and rotate it and stuff like that um, you can also scale it you know make it bigger make it smaller just like anything else kind of in rec room so we're gonna go through each one of these tabs on the text tool and tell you what they do we're gonna skip the red green and blue for now and we'll get back to that later the first one is going to be this light blue one, and this is the text selector tab. So what you want to do first off is hit configure on your maker pen, click the whole thing, and here you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five messages that you can choose from to display. So I'm going to go ahead and modify these so you can see when I change it. Okay, so I've changed uh, all of the different messages so we can kind of go through and show you how this works. So right now we're on message zero. If you see here, it says zero in there. Message zero reads rec, so it reads rec. Now there's two different ways you can modify what message is being displayed. You can hit uh, configure and you can configure that dot specifically. So not the word, but the dot. Make sure the dot's highlighted. All right, and then you can change the number. So right now it's message zero, which was rec. Message two, or message one rather, said room. So if I change this, it's gonna pop up as room. Next one said maker. So message two or three or whatever, maker. And you kind of understand, that's how it works. Now the second way that you can modify this instead of uh, configuring that dot is you can connect a circuit to it. So for instance, here I have message three. I have the number three, so if I connect that to the tab here, it'll put out whatever message three was. And if we go back, configure, message three, says pin, so hopefully that makes sense for you. And with all of these pins, you can pretty much do the same thing. You can use circuits for them as well. So if you want to call something in the middle of the game, if you want it to work in the middle of the game so nobody has to use maker pen, then that's, that's how you would do it. All right, so next we're gonna go through what the pink and the yellow tabs do here. If I just hit wire, you'll see this one does color and this one does material. So just like with, whenever you make a regular Maker Pen object, um, you can change the color and the material that it's made out of. So for instance, if I create a, if I wanna make a metal ball, for instance, go, let's say blue, and then we'll go metal material, and then I'm just making it here. Now you can do the same thing with the text. Um, the only difference is that it doesn't start out this way. Um, what you have to do is you can either configure each individual bubble here. Whoops, I'm still on that. You can, yeah, you can configure each individual bubble and change it by number, but you have to kind of memorize what numbers you want. For instance, you know, I don't know what color all these numbers are. And you can do the same thing with materials. You know, you can change it by changing the number. That'll change what type of material. But since I don't know what numbers equal what color and what material, it's easier to just use the recolor tool. So let's just go to recolor. And again, if I wanna make it a blue metal text, you know, I've already got metal selected, I've already got blue selected, and all I have to do is click it and it changes it. Now afterwards, it will display what numbers it, uh, they are. So um, that's kind of convenient for you to memorize it. Also, like I said before, if you use circuits, you can connect circuits to it and you can change whatever it is. So if I wanna change it to whatever one and two is, you know, it, I can use the circuits to do that if you wanna change it in game. So next we'll deal with the black tab here. Now this one determines whether the text is hidden or whether it's visible. Basically, if this number is zero, the text is gonna show up. If it's any other number other than zero, it's not gonna show up. So right now it's showing zero, which means it's gonna show up. If I hit configure on the dot and change it to anything that's not zero, it will disappear. Again, you can use circuits to do the same thing. You know, if you have a player, I don't know, hit a button or something and then it makes text pop up, you just have to make it switch to zero whenever uh, they hit that button. Okay, so next we're gonna deal with the red, green, and blue things here. These are just variables that you can add in. So if you look here for message one, I have these little squiggly brackets and then R and then squiggly brackets. So R for red, obviously. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just, you can change it. Um, whoops, 
You can change it by configuring it just like everything else or you can add circuits to it. So whatever number you have in here is what will be displayed. And you could say like 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 the number and then score or team deaths or something, you know, you could you could add text to it as well. But that's how you get these to work. So for instance, if I want to make the green input, what is this? 2. Let's put that on there. And then I have for the message here, I've got message one or two is what it would be. But message one is the green input. So what I would do is switch this to message yeah, message two or one, however you want to say it. Um, and then it would show what this input is on the green. And it works the same with blue. You just have to use R, G, or B, depending on which input you want to do. And I'll show that one more time here. So R for red input, G, and B. And you just have to use the squiggly brackets and that'll work. All right, so there's a couple more settings I want to go through on configuring the text tool. If you just go to configure and you hit the whole text tool, go to the right here, you can align the text. So if you want it to be on the left, it'll be on the left. If you want it in the center, you want it on the right, you can do that. The thickness, now thickness will determine how kind of thick it is. Right now it's at one. You can go as low as 0.5, I believe. Yeah, 0.5 is the lowest you can get. And then the highest you can get is 50. I tested it out, which makes it real long and weird. But uh, still, I feel like you could do some interesting things with that. I'm not quite sure how you would implement it, but you could. Um, next, we have character spacing down here where you can just determine how far apart these things are. Let's just do, I think, 25 is the max on this. So 25, you can see they've spread apart really, really far. And as I minus, it goes down. Okay, so the next setting I want to mess with here is the line spacing. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you see here I've got a message that has multiple lines of text. And if you just hit plus on this, you'll see that they get further away or they can get close together. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for this short tutorial on the text tool. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. RCL Men. Out.